Hello viewers and welcome to this video. Today I want us to look at graphs of inequalities in one or two variables. Graphs of inequalities in one or two variables. Viewers, we can give you something like this. We can say so x less than or equal to 5 graphically. Yes, when you are given something like this, how do you go about it? So let's look at the solution. Solution. Now, when you are given this, you have to draw your xy plane this way. X as this, y as this. And when you ask to do something like this, you don't need a graph sheet, you just have to sketch it. Yes. We have this way, this is zero. You can have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, maybe three, negative one, negative two, three, negative one, negative two. Before you can do this, I have to convert the inequality x less than or equal to 5 into x equal to 5. Do you see? Now, when you get x equal to 5, then I'm going to plot a graph of x equal to 5. And if you are doing that, this is the graph of x equal to 5. It means that if you draw a line to pass through x equal to 5. Use it, use your straight edge. So this is a line. So they call this line x equal to 5. I think. Now, when you are done with this, then you want to find the solution. Why is the solution? Is the solution at this side or at this side? You have to go there saying x is less than or equal to 5. It means that the solution should be from here to this side. So the, the, the shaded region here will be the solution of this inequality, the shaded region. What this means that if you pick any x value which is on this line or at this side, it should satisfy the inequality. Therefore, the shaded, the shaded region is the solution of x less than or equal to 5. It's not equal at all. I see. Now, let's look at another question. Let's look at another question. We can give you something like this. You can say solve y greater than 3 graphically. That is question. This is question number two. So solution. So let's draw an x y plane x y. You are saying y is greater than three. So this is zero. I have one, two, three. This is one, two, uh, three, four. Negative one. Negative two, negative three, negative one, negative two, negative three. Now, you are saying y should be greater than three. So you have to convert this inequality into an equation. So y will be equal to three. And then use this one to draw the graph. So we are going to plot the graph of y equal to three. Y equal to three. Y equal to three means that go to the y axis. And, and, and draw a line to pass through y equal to 3. Do you see it? So this is y equal to 3. Are you seeing it? Yes, this is y equal to 3. Now, after drawing this, you are going to find out where the solution of this uh, inequality will be. Is it going to be below this line or above the line? Now, you have to look on the board. We are saying that y should be greater than 3. y should be greater than 3. Now, 
You see that I have drawn this line. Viewers, when you have greater than, and when you have greater than, like great, when you have greater than, less than, then you have to use dotted line. Do you see it? So when you are giving a question and you have less than, you have to use what you call a dotted line. If it is greater than, you have to use dotted line. If it is less than or equal to, as we saw in the first case, use a continuous line. If it is greater than or equal to, then use a continuous line. What this means is that, here, yeah, so this one, it means that you have to make this a dotted line. I see it? What it means is that, if you cannot pick a point on this line to be a solution of this inequality, no. But if it's a continuous line, when you pick a point on it, it will satisfy the inequality. Okay, it will satisfy the given inequality. So, you have to use a delta line here. And then, because y is greater than 3, it means that you should shade up here. Do you see it? So, the solution of this inequality will be the shaded region here. And yes, you see, if you pick any y value which is above this line, for example, if you pick 4, 4 is greater than 3. If you pick 5, 5 is greater than 3. But you cannot pick 3. If you pick 3, 3 can never be greater than 3. That is why we are using the dotted line. It means that when you pick any point, on the line, it should not, it should do not satisfy the inequality, and therefore cannot be a solution. You see, so this will be the solution of this inequality. Okay, now viewers, let's look at the last question and bring this lecture to an end. You can see question number three. You can say solve two x minus three y minus six. Let that be equal to zero graphically. 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 Solution. US, this one is not straightforward like the first two cases. So when you are giving something like this, you have to first of all convert this into an equation. So I'm going to have 2x minus 3y minus 6 equal to 0. And then try to get two points. If you're able to get a two points, then use a straight edge to join the points. And that straight line will cater for all the other points. So how do you get a two points? You can say that at x equal to 0. You know, everywhere you see x here, you write 0. So if you put 0 here, I'm going really to have negative 3y minus 6 is equal to 0 negative 3y is equal to 6 so it means that y is equal to negative 2 I see it therefore you are going to plot the point 0 negative 2 we have to write the x uh, coordinate first yes so we are going to plot 0 negative 2 now you can also say that at, at y equal to 0 hmm, Wherever you see why I'm going to write zero, I'm going to have 2x minus, the whole of this will go to zero because y is equal to zero, minus 6 is equal to zero. So 2x is equal to 6, x is equal to 3. So this implies that I'm going to plot the point 3, 0. You have to always write the x coordinate first. Now, so let's plot it. So we are going to do this. This is your x as this, this is your uh, y as this. So we are going to have this bit is 0, we have 1, 2, 3. Are you seeing it? So we have to 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And then this one can be 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Negative 4. Now let us plot the first one. 0, negative 2. So 0 on the x axis 
and the negative 2 on the y axis. So here, I see it. And then the next one is 3, 0. 3 on the x axis, y, 0. So 3, 0 here. And then you guys have to use your straight edge to join the two uh, points. And then after joining, you extend the line. So you extend the line. So this is a graph of this one. 2x, so you write it on it. This is the name of this graph. You call it the Now, having done this, you want to find out whether the solution of this inequality will be found below the line or above the line. This is. Yes, you want to find out whether the solution of this inequality will be found below or above the line. So we are going to test. So you can just see testing. Testing for the solution. Testing for the solution. I see it. Now this is the inequality. When you are testing, you have to use the inequality. I see it. When you are drawing the graph, you have to convert the inequality into an equation. And, and that will help you to draw the graph. When you are testing, you have to go back to the inequality. 2x minus 3y minus 6. That's an equal to 0. Now, that's how we are going to test it. Pick any point which is below or above the line. If you pick, let's say, a point which is above the line and that point satisfies the inequality, what it means is that the solution is at that side. Now, on the other hand, if you pick a point which is above this line and that point doesn't satisfy the inequality, Straight away, it should tell you that the solution cannot be found here, but rather down here. Also, I can pick a point which is above this. I can pick 0, 0. And you see, any point at all which is above this line. So, I can see at 0, 0. You see it. So, when you put x is 0, y is 0, when you put 0 here, you are going to have 2, 0, minus 3, 0, minus 6. I see. Now this will be 0, 0, minus 6. So we are going to have negative 6 as the answer. And negative 6 is less than 0. This is true. This is true. And because we picked a point which is above the line, and that point has satisfied the inequality, you, you can straight away shade this side. I see. And say that the shaded region is a solution of this inequality. Therefore, the shaded region is a solution of this inequality.